Hello everyone. So writing your first research statement is always difficult, especially if you do not have a research background and you're very new to what research is. So basically there are many questions. How do I write a research statement? What goes in there? What is the entire homework required before writing that, you know, one to two p pages stuff? So this video will answer all those questions and in this video i will give you the exact points that you need to focus on the exact tasks that you need to do before writing the research statement and finally i would give you the major four points that you need to consider or the major four points that will form a format of your research statement so stay tuned and let's see how this research statement is formed after this channel intro. point that we need to consider while writing a research statement is that we need to find out our area of interest so there are a number of research areas now a time right so what is the research area that you feel interesting that really uh, you know you feel that yes i should study about this or i should work in this but how would you find that it's not that uh, you think yeah quantum computing is something which everyone is working on is or is the new hype and I'm going to do research in it no you actually have to work in it for around three to five years three years if you're going to do MS five years if you're going to do a PhD in India let's say and so basically you're going to work on it for a really long duration so it needs to be something which you are really interested in right and you need to find that by doing a quite bit of literature review now what is this literature review so basically you need to read a lot of papers i would say you can just find out if the paper is interesting or you are finding that paper interesting by reading just a small paragraph one paragraph of that paper which is the abstract of the paper so first of all you need to find out what kind of papers do you feel in uh, reading interesting right what kind of papers do you find interesting so for example i personally feel software engineering papers quite much interesting than the other papers like let's say the core machine learning papers so i get in linked with software engineering papers much easily and that is something i read much more often so similarly you need to find out what is there which one is that you know your research area then another tip over here is that uh, if you are really new to the research areas and you uh, even don't know what are the uh, current research areas with your let's say if, uh, graduate background let's say if you're from civil engineering or you are from electronics engineering and you need to check out what are the latest research areas in which research is being done then you may check iit faculty websites or of some other good universities let's say mit's or some other foreign universities and you can check the latest research areas on which they are working over there so that in that that will basically help you to solve this first point of ours to find out the research area of interest obviously from there you'll only get a list of the uh, basic research areas on which people are doing research and then you need to perform the next steps in order to find your area of interest what are those next steps so basically you'll have to let's say uh, go through a number of let's say five to seven papers from one area and five to seven papers from another area and then compare which one you're feeling much more interesting to read and you know take that one 
then the next step is that once you have finalized your area and you understand the basics of it that means you understand the basic terminology is being used over there and you're not finding it very much difficult that you are getting something in your head that yes i understand this okay if i uh, do uh, some kind of you know if i spend time i'll be able to grasp this if that is happening over there then the next thing is you need to finalize a research topic now yes you can't just uh, write down that yes i find cloud computing interesting and so therefore i'll be working in it no you need to be specific if you are saying uh, let's say cloud computing okay then what kind of problems are you interested in uh, the cloud computing part let's say if i say software engineering i cannot say just yes i find software engineering interesting and i'll i'll just be working in it no the like it will be better if you specify the major research areas you feel interesting in to work with right so uh, if you're clear with the topics that you'll be interested i'm not Uh, stating that you need to finalize a research problem no that is a very advanced step but before that which is the research topic that you find interesting for example defect prediction is an area in software engineering so similarly there are many other areas like code reviews or effort estimation or code recommendation similarly there will be many other research topics for different research areas so you need to find out which one fits the best to you so this is the research topic the second point now how do you find this so for uh, like what are the sub tasks that you can perform in order to finalize your research topic first of all you go out to the top conferences in this area for example in my case in software engineering it is international conference on software engineering which is icsi and similarly to the top journals so in my case it is uh, ieee transactions on software engineering and similarly acm transactions on software engineering and methodology which is acm tosum so you need to find out the top conferences and journals in your area now how do you do that there are several portals to do that so for example core conference portal is a portal where you, which you can use you can simply type in software engineering over there and it will give you a list of you know uh, conferences in that area and the ranking corresponding to this so i'll make a separate video to uh, just give you an idea of how to use these portals and how to find out different uh, research areas uh, from these portals so but for now you can use those portals and check the latest papers from these conferences you can go to the these conference websites check the latest papers nowadays since it is a, uh, the pandemic situation they have also started putting the preprints of the papers and the video video clippings uh, short video clippings along with the paper available for free to be viewed for some duration you can easily you know get an idea of the paper from 2 to 3 minute video clip go there check those video videos it will help a lot similarly you can view the uh, different papers from top journals of your area now many a times what happens is that uh, since you are a freshly passed out btech or uh, graduate you may not have access to the ieee uh, portal or acm journal portals and uh, the publications come in paid options right so you have many uh, portals which offer you to view the papers in in just for free right and to download for free so uh, some of such portals are google scholars sci hub is also there i'll just write it down this is sci hub and archive is the best open source you know a uh, portal that you can helps you to uh, download the preprints view that so also many authors nowadays they uh, put the preprints on their own uh, official websites so once you find a paper interesting you might just google the author's website and check if a preprint is available there uh, similarly many research labs also put the preprints of their papers on the website so you can also check that 
now how to get a hold of the papers from these portals that also i'm thinking of making a separate video so stay tuned and check for that video if you want to know about it and the third and the final step over here for your homework task in order to get the entire content for forming that research statement is make a short note of shortcomings in the existing papers of your area of interest and research area of interest their future works and see if you find them interesting or you can contribute in developing something better jot that down that helps a lot basically this entire thing helps to know the effort of the student and it his or hers interest in working in that area so doing this much is the least that is that will be i think expected from any of us at this point of time okay so after you have this entire thing this information available with you now comes the uh, writing part the res research statement writing part so first of all you need to describe your area of interest and why you feel interested in it so maybe you can write down that you have some previous skills maybe you have worked on some kind of VTech project which resonates with it maybe you've learned some techniques which you can use in developing some kind of tools or some kind of things which uh, people are using in the research area over there right so you need to find out that linkage and if you have those kind of skills or whatever is your skill set related to the research part you need to find out and jot that down over there now another thing is you want uh, also there could be that you know you have some initial skill set and you want to learn some advanced skill set which is currently being used in that research area right so that also you can highlight over there then the second point is description of the research problems you find interesting in this area for example from research problems i mean such as the defect prediction thing that i mentioned so there may be like uh, there may be research work may, might be being done in different uh, uh, related to different research problems like i mentioned defect prediction code reviews and so on similarly to the other research areas right so you can mention that these this or these are the problems that you find interesting to work in and also why you find them interesting do you have an in uh, an initial skill set or you have learned some online tools or you have uh, maybe done some coursera courses related to it you can mention all of them over here because that builds a strong profile of how you are eligible of working in this area with these problems next is limitations in the existing works and gaps now here is the part where you need to mention that these are the papers that i've read the, uh, these are the points or the gaps in them and how you can contribute in bridging these gaps if you have some initial thoughts you have to give that over there you have to mention that over there or you if you have learned some techniques which you think you can apply to improve on the existing things you have to have to write it over there okay so after that if now for example you are targeting a specific institute a specific iit or a specific maybe you are you know thinking of working with a specific faculty over there then you need to mention over there that why that institute is you are planning to go in like how can you benefit from the institute and how can the institute benefit from you what is the skill set that you have which particular faculty you know may find interesting or that makes you eligible for this position okay so if you're finding if you're uh, particularly interested in working with a particular faculty then mention the mutual area of interest mention the area in which he is working and same area is that you are interested in working in also mention that the works mention his specific papers that you find interesting and you want to work in or your initial thoughts in it how you can improve it so this all is basically uh, uh you can say an abstract idea of how i write how i uh, write my research statement the very first research statement how i wrote it and 
you, how you can write your very first statement obviously it uh, is not comprising of very advanced version of a research statement because this one has been created for the ones who are planning to target uh, a PhD admission so who are very new to research so this is my approach of giving you the idea of writing your first research statement do let me know how uh, what do you feel about this video if you like it please press the like icon below if you are the one who is viewing my channel for the first time please click the subscribe icon below and press the bell icon to stay notified with the latest related and press the bell icon to stay notified with my latest videos thank you